What is up guys, this is Ryshin or Tillis or what the hell you wanna call me. Today we're gonna to be actually I'm gonna be showing you a new combo on Xenoverse 2 which uses the Doria headbutt. A move that's just totally broken. So first of all I'm gonna show you a bit what kind of combo is this? Okay, so first thing first, the essentials skills that you need are actually just to do your headbutt. All the rest is the rest is just if you could land a stamina break, you could see this. Yeah, do your headbutt like resets the stamina break position and it just it's like basically gives you another stamina break a free stamina break also the Doria's headbutt acts as a heavy stamina break instead of a light stamina break as for sledgehammer I actually use it as an extra bonus damage for the combo and just to lock on where the enemy will be when I use the Doria headbutt Sledgehammer basically slams the enemy to the ground and they won't be able to move because they'll be stamina broken stamina broken sorry about that and now you guys will be asking why am I using elegant blaster that's like one of the weakest ultimates well this ultimate I mean this combo has actually has a weakness which is that your enemy could just fall behind you after you use the headbutt although if they fall behind you you could use elegant blaster with just disappears and you'll reappear and fire a huge explosive wave and also you can also use soul punisher which is you can turn back while using the ultimate without actually turning back now if the enemy falls in front of you you could use any type of Kai blast key blast ultimate such as super kamehameha and special beam cannon However, in the Doria's headbutt, if you not, if you did not execute your ultimate, you will be extremely vulnerable. You won't be able to move or do anything until you stop playing with your head. Now, here are the few things that I found weird. If you use the Doria's headbutt before the enemy touches the ground, or when the enemy touches the ground, exactly when it touches the ground, it will fall. The enemy will fall in front of you. However, if you use the Doria headbutt after the enemy bounces from the ground, they will fall behind you. Here are the few examples of it. Now this is where Elden Blaster comes in. I can shoot him anytime or anywhere he goes, and it will be 100% hit and he's turning up broken. Anyway, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.